All right. Thank you for tuning in. Although I doubt anyone tuned in yet because this is only five seconds old. Um, but for those of you watching, I'm just going to do it out of courtesy. I already saw things revealing spoilers that would be spoilers if you're not fully all the way through. But uh, this would include my videos as well as going to have uh, presumptions that you've seen uh, season seven. So um, I usually do uh, videos, live videos on political activities. I've just started this this year. In fact, this summer, um, still summer. Uh, but uh, yeah, and they're usually on political things. And Game of Thrones is no exception, actually, for me. Um, I usually blog about political things, and I include Game of Thrones in there. I think there's a lot to learn. Um, but another note is that this is the first live video I've done on my laptop, not on my cell phone. My cell phone I was using way too much data and wasn't connected to Wi-Fi because I was wandering around doing videos. But this one, I have the comfort of an indoor place to do. So uh, I don't want to talk too much, as is my way, about things that aren't relevant to what this video is about. So this is a video. Um, I didn't see any other live videos on here, but I don't really care. I'm doing it here. I figure it's a nice place to do it. Um, I'm offering my predictions for season eight and beyond, and I'll, I'll explain the beyond in a little bit. So, um, all right, I just looked at my notes. Um, this is something I thought was going to happen in season seven, and it sort of almost did when Jon Snow talked, not talked, but uh, the dragon came down. I think it was Dro Drogon or Drogo. I remember Drogon came down and like kind of like sniffed them and checked them out and uh, Daenerys was on the back of the dragon and that's what happened for um, sort of revealing he's got this affinity what I thought was going to happen and what I'm still predicting might happen is that he was going to get fire blown on him by a dragon um, and he was going to be unscathed so that would tell us well, we already know, but that would tell the, the world within Game of Thrones that he was Targaryen and he had that immunity to fire. Um, now, an ongoing question for me is, is the fire coming out of uh, White Viserion, is that ice or is that fire? What's he breathing out? And uh, my feeling is that it's just blue fire. Um but um, I guess we don't really know. Um, I feel like there were mentions of ice dragons. Uh, I don't know if that's within Game of Thrones. I haven't really read much of the books. I've used the wiki for referencing things, which I'm going to reference in a little bit with my bigger prediction, which is about what Melisandre is up to um, and what she's going to come back with in season eight. So, uh, but back to John John Snow or whatever we're calling him these days. I think he is going to uh, not be Sam Tarly and uh, sorry, I'm blanking. Brandon Stark are not going to be the ones who tell him that he is the uh, son of um, Rhaegar Targaryen and and uh, the Stark sister. Sorry, I'm really bad with names at the moment. Um, I think it's going to be, uh, he's going to find that out by actually having fire breathed on him. And then they'll confirm it or something. But I don't think it'd be way too predictable to just have them say, oh, hey, John, guess what? And, you know, or reveal it to him that way. I don't think that's how it's going to come out. Um, I think he's actually going to somehow be taken on by Viserion, who's going to be destroying him and an army or something. And, um, he will actually survive it because he is immune to the flames of that Viserion is blowing out, which might even be ice as well. And maybe he's impervious because he's a fusion of the winter people, the Starks and the, um, um, the Targaryens. So, um, all right. So the next thing, which I could segue into if I really thought about it, but I'm a little bit exhausted. The thing that uh, I also want to say is a prediction of part of this is that I think Melisandre is going to come back with a bunch of dragons. Originally, I was thinking about this a couple of weeks ago, and I was thinking she was going to come back with dragon eggs. But that doesn't make any sense um, as far as the timeline of the story. Uh, they would not be able to be used. 
So I think she's going to come back with uh, sizable dragons. And my prediction is that the children are going to be the ones who ride them as well. Um, I think they will be a big part of this upcoming season. They created the the White Walkers and all that, as far as the story is said. Um, so I think that's a logical way to be able to take on Viserion. Uh, I don't think it'd just be the two remaining dragons would kind of take them on. I think they actually might introduce uh, a, a sky full of dragons. Because we have, and that would parallel, uh, Euron is going over to Essos to bring back mercenary armies. Um, so I think Melisandre is going to come back with uh, dragon armies uh, are, are, yeah, flying back. Um, I also think that the Night's King may somehow get those ships because they alluded that they can't swim and that was introduced, but um, they also couldn't get beyond the wall. I think that, and, and so this ties into how would they make more seasons? I was thinking they went to seven episodes with season seven because they were going to do eight episodes in season eight and nine episodes in season nine, 2019, and then 10 or 20 episodes in 2020, um, which is very ambitious. But um, I don't know how they're going to stretch it out at this point. They'd have to scatter a lot of characters because at this point they've condensed a lot of characters and the characters are all moving the storyline quicker because their storylines are all told at the same time. And we still have these lengthy episodes that somehow cover like months. It almost seems like the way, um, for example, episode four of season seven, Jamie and Lord Tarly are like on one part of the continent in the beginning. And then by the end, they're close to Blackwater river or something like that. I don't know wherever Daenerys attacks her attacks their baggage train. Um, all right, let me check my notes and see if there's anything else I'm missing. Um, if somehow, I don't think I have a single watcher right now, but it could just not be telling me because it's on my laptop version. I might have a bunch of you out there, so hi. But um, right now it doesn't say anybody. It just says if I want to invite friends, but I'm not going to do that. Um, you're on goes to Melisandre. Oh, well, another reason why Melisandre is going to do this. Um, Ashai and the Shadowlands are not... Uh, depicted too much according to the wiki at least in the books um they're sort of shadow and um like obtuse to vision or obfuscated i don't know what the right term would be um but she's also the you know messenger lord of light and lord of light going into the shadows there's a lot there uh metaphorically um you or um symbolically that she would be going there to get um pull light out of the shadow. So I think that's some something that might be worked in by the writers. Um, I think that that's somewhere I'd put, I, I wouldn't put money on any of this, but um, my predictions are rarely right on the show. Um, so anyways, um, but oh, she is a character that sees the big picture as well. So, um, cause a lot of, them are a lot more petty and, and, and microcosms. She has a really big view and she has a long, very long life. She's Schmeagel old, um, maybe even Yoda old. I, I don't know if we know. If, if I learned it, I forgot it. Um, but she's several hundred years old. So um, she kind of has that long view. And I think going and fetching dragons somehow and being part of that um, would be uh, sort of fitting uh looping her back in because she sort of wandered away in season in episode four or five of season seven um all right that's all i think um so oh yeah i was gonna say this before but if i somehow got more than um let's say 40 likes for this video and i don't know if i'll get even anywhere close to that um 40 likes and a couple shares Let's say couples two. I'll be I'll be uh, true to that word. Um, although <clears throat> I do like couples of three and four, polyamory. Um, anyways, totally different topic. So uh, if I get 
any shares and 40 likes on this video, I will commit to doing a video sometime in October with uh, some other kind of crazy predictions. Um, I will make an effort to let my imagination chew on it a little more and see if I can come up with anything. And maybe the prediction video will be, I have no predictions for you. And I, I failed at that. But um, yeah, so uh, that's all. Hope you enjoy it. Um, my live videos are not always terribly exciting things. Um, this one might not fail that expectation. Um, but I will also, in a future video, if I do it, I will say who my favorite character is. Um, and then this is going to be that giveaway now. But anyways, we're in the uh, Casa del Sol. That's where we are, in case you were wondering. So, um, yeah. All right. Maybe that's not a giveaway at all. I'm, I'm a whack job. All right. I'm finishing this video. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you, Especially if you watch this far, that takes commitment. I never watch a video 10 minutes in. Honest. All right.